Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my video. I'm going to be showing you guys my collection of liquid lipsticks that are deep, pink, purples, mauves. I did a declutter a while back on a bunch of different ones. If you want to see all those videos, I'll link them at the very end, kind of right here. But um, I went through all of my nude liquid lipsticks, because I have lipsticks and then I have liquid lipsticks. Yeah, that's how intense my liquid lipstick obsession is. Um, so this is the collection of liquid lipsticks that I'm going to try to get through. I just needed to get rid of these because there were just so many and they're all squeezed in here. There's some that I just don't use. So I wanted to go through them. Hopefully maybe figure out a way to like share them with my sisters. Obviously I don't give these away like to anybody else besides my sisters because they're the ones who kind of... We have the same germs. I used to say that when I was younger. You might see me go through it, <laughs> go through it with getting rid of these because I do love liquid lipstick so much. I already know I might not get rid of any of these <laughs> because they're all different reds. Okay, so two of the reds that I have are from Stila. These are really, really old, but they're such good formula quality red lipsticks. So this one is called Fiery. Fiery is beautiful. It's a very like true red. It doesn't really have a lot of undertones in there. Um, but if I ever want something that's like very like neutral red, this is the one that I usually go with. I do find that the Stila formulas are a little bit creamier, so they're a little bit moussey, which means they may not um, stay on perfectly, like I said, especially in the center. But what I do find is that they're the most comfortable. So that's Fiery, and then this one is Tesoro. Tesoro is beautiful. It's like a very great orangey red that's not too orangey. Um, I like that one too. I wear, I know I wear uh, Beso a lot, or Fiery a lot, but I might keep that one still. One that I wear a ton is the liquid lipsticks from Motives. This one's in the color Scandalous. This one I really love. This one's almost like a Ruby Rue Red. So that one I'm gonna hold on to because I do love this one a ton and I wear it all the time. So I'm gonna put the yeses over here. Now these are, oh, this one's the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick. I know there's like a whole bunch of junk said about Lime Crime. To be honest, I don't really know it all, but this is in the color Red Velvet. Red Velvet is oh, such a pretty color. And again, they're all different. They're all different. Did you guys see that? Am I crazy? But that's Red Velvet. And this, one's, this one I'm going to keep. I really can't escape this one. Keeping because I do wear it often. And then these two little guys are from ColourPop. Um... Their name, oh, one is Last Dance and one wore off. Yeah, this one I might. Ooh. Maybe I'll give the red one to one of my sisters because I do have colors that are similar to this one. So yeah, I'll give this one away. Next reddish orange is this one. You know what? I wore this once. I put it on when I was drunk, so I don't remember. <laughs> It was in Miami, um, and it's like an orange color from, what is this, Colored Rain. Um, I need to try it on again. I remember not liking it, but again, I was intoxicated, so I didn't really know how to, I was like rushing and putting it on, so maybe I'll put it on today, but um, I'm going to try this still and keep it just in case, because I really think this is going to be what I was looking for. I'm looking for like an orangey red that's almost orange. And then this one I actually found, um, it's a Kat Von D one, but I found it, oh, it's separated. Ugh, maybe not. <laughs> but I found this one at TJ Maxx. Oh, that's interesting. That's like a, like a, hmm, like a salmon color. Maybe I'll keep that still. I like using like that on the center of the lips because I really, but I haven't worn this one at all. And that one smells good. And the last one, which is not a liquid lipstick, but it reminds me of a liquid lipstick. Um, it's the Lip Full Throttle in the color Con Artist. This one's like a very, oh, it's like a maroon. I like that a lot. This is a maybe, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. So I'm gonna put that there. And, okay, now I'm gonna move on to my pinks. There's a lot of pinks. And there's another red. Um, this one I need to get rid of. Yeah, it's just I have lipsticks like this, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a lipstick from Sephora. This smell is so nostalgic to me, but this one I'm gonna toss, throw it away because I don't think anybody should even have that. The other red, um, I decided I was gonna keep this one. This is from e.l.f. 
It's uh, their color Cranberry. And it's just like a very soft red. Like it's not super pigmented, but it's pretty. So yeah, as you can see, all of the reds are different. So they're gonna mostly stay in my collection. You guys can see I haven't like gone through these ahead of time. I wish I did. It would have been better. All right, these next colors are like pinks and like deeper pink mauves. Let me just go with the pinks first because I think they're for sure pinks, pinks. I know that I was using these two. I bought these from Sephora. This, they're like, what are they called? They're cream lip stains. This one's like a very bubblegum pink. Hopefully you can see that. And I was using this kind of on top of other colors, not by itself. That was in the color 12, and this is in the color 7. So I was using both of these kind of like that way. Um, I think I'm going to try to wear that with like a light, like kind of like a light color in the center. So I'm going to keep those because I do think I need to wear those some more. This is an LA Girl Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Timeless. Um, I don't believe they have these anymore because I remember I was looking one time and this is like a true pink, like bubblegum pink. This one's beautiful in the summertime, especially when you have tan skin. It looks amazing. And that one I'm keeping because I know that I do love that one. The next pink I'm going to try to see if I love. Actually, this was a good one. This is a Motives liquid lipstick in the color Dragonfly. And it's just a little bit deeper. It's very, very similar to um, like Girl About Town, except it's a liquid lipstick. And I love Girl About Town so much. It's just that it bleeds a little bit and it also um, stains my lips and it transfers because it's a creamy formula. So this I'm keeping because of that exact reason. And then this is the Lime Crime Lipstick in the color Pink Velvet. This was, I believe, it was like a limited edition color. Um, they probably brought it out again, but this is like a true pink pink. So yeah, all those pinks I'm keeping. Okay, now moving on with the new other like mauve pinks. I'm gonna keep these swatches on here so that hopefully I can catch a double. All right, this one's from ColourPop and it's in the color Bad Habit. I don't remember wearing this one. Oh, it's like a deep color. That's pretty, it's like a fall color. That one I'm gonna keep because that one I don't have. And then the next ColourPop color is Scrooge. I think this was on a limited edition one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, another deep one. Those aren't the same. Those are very different. Uh, then these are two teeny ColourPop ones. Um, this one's in More Better. And then, let's see what that looks like. That's just a really good deep color. And this is in the color... It's worn away. But these little mini guys were like during the holidays. And that's more like purple. These two are the same when they dry, to be honest. Like they're so similar. I'm going to keep Scrooge and keep Bad Habit. So this one's Bad Habit and this one's Scrooge. Um, bad Habit can go to one of my sisters. This is very similar to the first two, so I'm going to give that one away as well. Now, this is like one of my favorite colors. This is a full throttle. I put this in the liquid lipstick section because it lasts like a liquid lipstick, although it feels like a lipstick when you put it on, but it's such a great color. And that's very similar to the other color. Okay, let me get rid of that color pop because I don't need that one either. Now, the other last color that I love in this kind of category is Aria. This is from Stila. It's one of my favorite colors. Me and my sisters all own this. It's just a beautiful color and now you wonder why I like it because all of these colors are the same. But yeah, I got rid of most of those colors so I feel good about keeping this one because now I don't own any similar. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Aria, you started it all. You were my first love. I scrubbed them all but look at this one that stayed on. That's the Motives one. Very interesting. Uh, What's left now are like the deeper colors, Ooh. deep purples, the deep maroons, things like that. I don't have a ton of these. This was the uh, matte balm like color burst from Revlon way back in the day. And to be honest, I don't love this color. And I especially don't love that this formula doesn't stay on forever and ever. I like a liquid lipstick. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And hopefully someone loves who loves a creamier formula can get with this one because I'm used to liquid lipsticks. I want them to last. And if I'm wearing a dark color, it's going to be a liquid lipstick. I don't want it to mess me up. So 
this one's gonna go away but this is a pretty color it's very similar to up the amp which is a little bit deeper and then the next one is this liquid suede in vintage i never got a lot of wear out of this hmm i don't know if i even like that color i'm gonna give that one away too because i don't like that color that much hopefully someone likes it I'm throwing it on the couch and then it's rolling off and landing on the floor. And I keep doing it. Uh, another color is very similar to that one is the color Amore. This is a Stila liquid lipstick. I remember I bought this at a makeup show back in the day and I never really wore it. To be honest, this one is more of a patchier color. Um, but I love this smell. It's like I hate to give it away, but like hopefully someone loves it more than I do. The next one is an Anastasia Beverly Hill lipstick. This is actually what a girlfriend handed over to me. So I'm gonna see, you know, I don't know. It's pretty patchy. I don't love this color either. I think I have a lot of other, um, like another color that's very similar to this. So I'm gonna pass this one along to one of my sisters. Hopefully they like it. Then there's this Sephora Listic lipstick. It's in the color matte 04. It's pretty old, but, ooh, I'm keeping that. That's nice. I'm gonna keep this in the lipstick pile though. All right, now is this liquid lipstick. It's This is in the color Mocktail. Mocktail is this color I really love. Um, I want you guys to see it. It's like a true bright magenta color. I love that color so much. It's such a statement color. So I'm gonna keep that one for sure because I really do love it. Okay, now these up here are my deep ones. This is a liquid lipstick from Milani and it's in the color Embrace. Milani has some of the best liquid lipstick formulas, to be honest. And I always, always, you see, yes. Oh, the Anastasia ones has sparkle. I don't like sparkle. This one is like just an actual color. It can get a little patchy, but I'm used to it and I could make it work. And I love the way Milani lipsticks smell. All right, the last two are these by Motives. These are really, really good. Um, these liquid lipsticks in particular, this formula. I love the ones in that little squarish packaging. But these I like too, so it's really interesting. I don't know why they had two separate ones because they both are good. But it's an actual true purple. I just want this color because I use some for my eyes as well. And this is like a for sure purple. So I'm going to keep that one for sure. And then this one is almost borderline black. And um, oh, that one, that first one was called Concord. And then this one is called Blackberry. Blackberry is like borderline black. Yes. See how like rich that is? They're very different. The purple one looks really purple and true. This one's definitely almost a borderline black liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna keep both of those because I do like wearing those kind of colors on my eyes. I've been wearing a lot of these like on my eyes as a primer. So that's why some of these colors I'm keeping because I do wear them dual purpose. So I'll wear them as a wing, I wear them as like a base for my eyes. And um, I've been loving that a ton, ton lately. Oh, actually I'm gonna get rid of this one, this is the one I was still deciding, it's that red, deep red. I do love it, but it's like broke on me like several times. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because I think I can get a new one. And I, honestly, I can't really, uh, it's too much of a mess. So I'm gonna toss this one too. And then this first red lipstick I decided to keep because I do like these on my eyes. <laughs> All right, as you can see, my little collection much went down significantly. It's It was a pain when it was like doubled up and I couldn't push the drawer in, now I can safely and just conveniently get to all of my lipsticks without figuring out which ones look the same because every once in a while I just have to go through my collection and see, okay, are there doubles here? Are there things that I should just like have not purchased? And as you can see, there were a lot of colors that were very similar to this particular color from Stila in the color Aria. So it was nice to get rid of all those colors and like finally know what is what. So that's my entire declutter. I'm giving away one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's six because they're all on the floor and in the couch, so I can't really see. <laughs> but I got rid of a bunch of repeats for myself, so I'm so happy that I did that. If you guys don't ever do this at home, try it out. You'll be surprised at how many doubles you actually have of like either lipsticks or blushes or eyeshadows even. Um, it's really fun, it's therapeutic, and it also gives you a way to kind of like really rediscover some old things that you just never wear again. If you wanna see me using a liquid lipstick as an eyeshadow, as a primer, um, I know I was showing this a lot when I was working at the Pro Store this last week, 
on a girl and she was seriously like wait what and so I did it on her and she loved it so it got her to wear her liquid lipstick like two different ways and it really stretches out your product more so you can wear it more often um, and it gets you to think outside the box so if you want me to do a demo on that and like do a whole full tutorial on how I use liquid lipsticks on my eyes then and make sure you hit the thumbs up button because that'll let me know for sure I normally don't do that so that's why it'll really let me know for sure this time um, I normally don't ask for thumbs up it'll hopefully give me a clue to let me know if you guys really do want to see something like that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you're doing that now. Um, again, I have all these videos here linked of all of my previous collection declutter videos. And um, it kind of gives you a really good chance to see what I do love, what I can't live without, and what I'm ready to toss. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.